assistant homies. I get a lot of questions on how to set up InfluxDB, Grafana, uh, with Home Assistant on HES.io. And this also happens on stream. So on a recent stream, I tried to take up on that question and actually tried to set some kind of like speed run on how fast I could install InfluxDB, Grafana, Glances, and Home Assistant, and the IDE add-on all together from scratch uh, within 15 minutes. So for now, uh, I'm going to play the uh, part of the stream where this happened. Um, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Oh, and I will include all the links, of course, uh, in the description below as well. So uh, choo choo, homies. Let's do a quick review of uh, how to do InfluxDB with um, uh, with Grafana. And I need my to find my URL for my dev system since, well, my main system already has it, right? So welcome to my empty home assistant. Let's install it. Okay, you go to the add-on store and well, let's start with uh, installing both InfluxDB. Here we go, version 1.3. Install. Installing action. I cannot fast forward at this point, so I'm sorry. Frank, I tried to, tried to glance this add-on, but I did not see populate data and influx. You have to enable it in the configuration. Shall we add glances in as well? I can throw glances in. Archeex, what's your OS? Uh, the OS you're looking at on my desktop, which is Mac OS, um, the um, OS on my my main system, that's Ubuntu, with Hasio on it. Uh, so let's install Grafana. I tried to glance on in a public, maybe you can show this. I will add it. I'm going to add glances in this mix as well. So we're going to send in some data from uh, Home Assistant. We're going to send in some glances data. Let's add in glances as well. Here we go. Glances. And let's install the IDE add-on so I can actually add it to configuration files. So there's four add-ons we're going to do. And I promise you this will take max 50 minutes to get something going. Yes, here we go. Here we go. So welcome to my dashboard. Let's start with um, with uh, the ID to get into the configuration. What's this stickers? Uh, Pied up step. I'm doing a giveaway with a sticker pack with uh, some stickers in it, like the community add-on stickers, uh, which I maintain, uh, and maybe something I will try in some more. Um, and if you want to enter the giveaway, just type exclamation mark, enter, like the word enter, and hit enter, or exclamation mark ticket. Um, in the chat and you will get a ticket to the giveaway. That's how it works. The time is starting now. Okay, I have to run now. Donut, good evening, mister. Uh, okay, so let's start the IDE add-on. I'm going to disable SSL since this test setup does not have SSL. So let's start it. Let's wait for it to start here. Done, up and running. Open UI. Let's log in. I'm going to hide the uh, giveaway for a minute. Okay, and let's set it to dark mode since I do not like the light one. Uh, so, few themes. Flat dark. Archaic, thank you for the follow, that's really appreciate it. You're now officially a home assistant homie, by the way. And please let me know in the chat, do you like cats or dogs, sir? Cats or dogs? Who needs SSL anyway? Everybody needs SSL anyway. Okay, so the IDE is running. Next, next influx. Coming up, influx. We're going to disable SSL here because of the same reason. This is a dev box and does not have an outside world, so... Okay, so this thing is now starting up. InfluxDB is starting, right? Here we go. Okay. 
waiting till it start started you like doc sir thank you for the follow that's really appreciate it and Snoop Dogg in the house for you. Thank you for the follow. So here we are. We have Influx running, right? That's Influx. Next, we go into Grafana. Set up Grafana. Disable SSL again. And let's start it. Let's wait for it to start. Do all kinds of stuff the first time and it's done let's open it up admin has io i think i believe yep so let's hook up grafana to influx as starters so let's go into the admin here let's create a do we need a database already yeah we need a database for home assistant in a sec so let's create a database for Home Assistant and we are going to add glances as well. So let's create a database for glances and then we need users. So let's create a user for uh, Grafana and uh, the password is going to be test. And let's give it permissions, apply. Okay, so let's add in um, glances. And we're going to give it password test here as well and give it permissions, right? Here we go. So we have a user. Now we're going to do Home Assistant and uh, also a password test. Since Home Assistant will need to access as well. So here you go. We have created all the users. We created the two databases, Glances and Home Assistant. Uh, so we should now be able to hook up the add-on right here. Okay. And uh, let's go into add a data source. Now let's add InfluxDB. We're going to do, which is called Influx DB, and the port was 8068, I think. Database Home Assistant, user Grafana, password test, test it. Data source is working, safe and test, okay. So it should, should be done. Uh, we should add another another data source uh, let me see new data source we should have changed the name though name is home assistant in this case since it's the home assistant database add another one influxdb this is going to be the glances database so for each database in influxdb you create a connection Database glances, user Grafana test, safe, data sources working. So here we go. So we now have two data sources. One is connected to the home assistant database, the other to the glances database. Here we go. Okay. So Grafana is connected. We have to, to, to InfluxDB. Uh, next up, let's go into glances to get something going. Glances. We're going to disable SSL, which is already done. We're going to enable InfluxDB and the password was test. Username is glances, password test and the database glances. So this looks fine. I'm going to up the interval a little bit, which you should not do, but I'm going to do that now because I want to, I wanted to report data quickly to show something on stream, right? Let's save it. Uh, protection mode needs to be turned off. Turned off in this case. Let's start it. Let's see what it does. So it's it's running. Let's look into InfluxDB and let's see if data is here. There's no data yet. There it is. Data flowing in. So we now have CPU graphs right inside Influx. So, I don't know, CPU. Maybe we should pick up load. Load, here we go. 
So usage data from uh, glances is already flowing into Influx. So that's cool. We can now go in Grafana and create a dashboard. And I'm going to be lazy. I will go to grafana.com. There's a button in here, dashboards. And this, these are all shared dashboards. And there is a dashboard for glances here. Uh, so I'm going to download this glances dashboard. I'm going to copy the ID right here. Go into Grafana. I'm going to import the dashboard. I paste the ID right here. I'm going to load it. I think I already loaded it now. No, I have not. Import. Here we go. And it should come from the glances database. Import it. Here we go. Graphs and glances in, in Grafana of data exported glances. Right? So that's one. Now let's go to Home Assistant. We have the most stuff running now. Glances is running, InfluxDB is running, Grafana is running, IDE is running. Let's edit the config right here. And this is going to be like copy paste. And we'll go to the add on documentation. Just add on InfluxDB. The InfluxDB page has snippets I can use. So, for example, I could copy this one in. Let's paste it here. <coughs> home Assistant, Home Assistant, the password just test. Yeah, that should do the trick. Let's save. Has HA restart. No, a check. Let's do a check first. Done. SIOHA restart. Only counted up everything was connected, not setting up graphs. That was impressive. <laughs> What's going on here? Did I miss something? Time for that was roughly 9 minutes 15 for everything. <laughs> oh man, I was not done yet. John, cost Frank for the live stream. That's cool, mate. Welcome, mate. So let's go into Home Assistant. It should now be connected to um, InfluxDB. So let's check InfluxDB if it's actually connected. So let's go back to the Explorer right here. And let's see if there's data in here. Here we go. So we have some data in here for the sun already and a media player and the light. Uh, so that thing will show up not right now. But I don't think I have entities which are interesting to show. But we could go into Grafana now and create a dashboard. Let's create another dashboard here. Um, new dashboard, add a single stat. Um, let's edit this one. And we're going to get data from Home Assistant. Uh, we're going to select and measure the state of, uh, I don't know, an entity with which is called the sun. And this is not going to work like so, but it's a table. This is not going to work with the sun. Should not calculate the mean. This is not how this works though. I do not have valid data in here. Where do I get valid data from? Right now, real quick. Well, I could create a state real quick here for an example. Let's create entity. Let's create a, a sensor.test. Which has state one. This should create a test sensor. Here we go. And now we're going to say state two. And then state three. And if we go into Grafana, we should be able to reload. Oh, let's create another dashboard. Let's try again. Single stat. Edit. And this one should pop up now. State of entity test. There we go. Now it has an entity of two. 
Add. No, not add query. Should save this one. Here we go. We have now an, uh, a panel. We have data flowing. So if I now update it. Oh, let's update it actually. This will update every, I don't know, couple of seconds, but I can now reload it. And there it goes. It's an average, which I'm showing. So there we go. We could change this to a graph. Let's add a graph. Show the same. State. Entity. Test. Entity. Time series. Okay. Looks great. Well, let's show the last five minutes so you actually see something. You now can see the points. Let's connect them. And uh, general. Where was it hidden? There's some way to connect it. It was in here somewhere. Did I move it? Or am I just blind? In scale, align decimals. Height <coughs> series. Display mode, no value connected. Here we go. Now we have a line. Here we go. So we now have a sensor which is flowing from Home Assistant into. I can update some. This should now update and work. Here we go. Look how beautiful and easy that was. Ah, so that was easy. <laughs> Does that answer your question? I did. In, it, this this was quick. I think this was a world record, though. So there we go. There you have it. A setup of um, InfluxDB, Grafana, Glances, the Cloud9 IE, and Home Assistant all working together in less than 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure I was under 15 minutes. Did anybody time it? Yeah.